Hey, Dave LaCalia with Head Games Motorworks here, and welcome to episode four of our 2JZ series. Today, the adventure is going to be install and ream a bronze guide, and then we're gonna throw you on the seat and guide machine and show you what the valve job's all about. Take a look. We worked closely with GSC to design the perfect valve guide for the 2JZ. The outer diameter is to factory specs, and the inner diameter is manufactured close to the aftermarket valve stem size. This design aids in a streamlined installation. Before installing the guides, the tech lubricates and freezes them to shrink the bronze material. Next, the tech will heat the head up so the aluminum expands, making for a smooth valve guide installation. The tech installs the valve guides with an air hammer and sets the guide height to factory specs. Once the head cools down, the tech will ream the valve guides. Each reamer is made specifically for the stem diameter of the valve that's being installed. The tech will choose the best reamer for the job to ensure the proper valve to guide clearance. Notice that the tech keeps the reamer and guide flushed with coolant for a smooth finish. After the guides are reamed, the cylinder head is put in the spray washer to remove any coolant or debris. Again, the tech will wait for the cylinder head to cool down so that he can measure each guide to ensure that the proper valve to guide clearance has been set. Next, the head travels to the seat and guide station. The work order gets handed to the technician who will perform the valve job. The tech is going to valve job the exhaust seats first. He will set the head in the fixture, then level the head and secure it. Each application gets valve job to a specific cutter profile. You will learn how we choose cutter profiles in a future episode. The tech measures the valve that is getting installed and makes a cutter to match the size of the valve. Next, he sharpens the cutter and cuts the first valve seat. Once the first valve seat is cut, he will lap it in to ensure that the cutter is properly made and check stem height to ensure that it's within spec. He repeats the process on the intake side. 